okay so uh, moving on to activity number three okay so now we move on to the third activity of the 2020 practical paper which is presentation software okay so uh, over here in task a3 it says open a new word processing document enter task a3 your name candidate number center number in the header and save the document as task a3 okay so let's get started with that let's come over here let's right click and say we need a new uh, word document and uh, it's going to be saved as task a3 let's open that up <coughs> and uh, task a2 we can close so task a3 we go into the header and we type uh, task a3 your name your candidate number and your center number okay okay uh, so now coming back to the question paper it says lucia wants a presentation to send to members to give them an update on future holiday accommodations here are her designs for the slides okay so the title slide will be following this kind of a layout and all the other slides will be following this kind of a layout okay the links on the title slide are to the other slides the link on the other slides goes back to the title slide okay so this is something that you have to keep in mind okay so these links will be going to the other three slides while this like this link will be going back to the home slide okay uh, open the presentation future accommodation okay so you should be having this file called future accommodation uh, let's open it up and over here this is what you should be seeing on your screen so then the question paper goes on to say edit the master slide okay the master slide so let's go into master slide let's go to slide master view and let's select the master slide so let's come into view and let's come into uh, let's come into slide master okay so now that you are in slide master view remember you need to go to the master slides the master slide you have to scroll right to the top and this one which is jetting out that is the master slide okay so keep in mind what is the master slide master slide is where when you want to apply something to all your slides say for example you want all your slides to have a certain font you want all your slides to have a certain color you want all your slides to have the logo on it that to, to, to make these kind of changes where all the slides should have it the best place to do it is in the master slide itself because whatever you do in the master slide automatically will apply to all your slides okay <coughs> what is below the slides these are what we call layouts okay so uh, then moving on it says over here the first thing that needs to be done is we need to follow the house style so if you remember the house style said that the logo should be in the bottom center right so let's get that let's get the logo in the bottom center insert uh, or we can just simply copy and paste it from over here uh, the logo is lg logo Control c let's come over here Control v it's way too big let's make it smaller and let's keep it in the bottom center okay uh, the next thing that the house style had was that the company name should be in uh, sans serif font now for now we have not entered a company uh, name we have not put the company name yet so when we do put the company name we will keep in mind that it should be uh, a microsoft sans serif font okay it should have a darker background color for the title area so the title area should have a darker background color so title area this is where you put the title normally so this should have a darker background color so let's simply right click over here let's come to format shape and let's come to fill and we'll go with a solid fill just one color and let's take a darker color maybe something like dark blue okay so you can see the title area is having a darker is having a dark background color have white text for the title the title should be white in color okay so let's change this to white color if you come to the home tab you can change this to white color okay so that's also done uh, the next thing is insert the logo in task a1a sorry insert the logo you created in task a1a uh, that we have already done we have put it in the bottom center just as how the house style told us let us also do one more thing in the house style they told us that the font should always be sans serif right so we haven't inserted the company name yet however we'll make the title be a sans serif font because if we are ever going to put the company name it is going to be in the title area right so let us now itself keep the font as a as a sans serif font okay so we can go ahead with microsoft sans serif okay microsoft sans serif okay let's keep it in sans serif if we ever put the company name it will automatically appear in sans serif itself okay 
so logo we have done change the footer in the of the master slide in the center section okay enter the text created by and include your name change the footer uh, in the center section enter the text created by and include your name okay so we have got to uh, put this but then the logo is going to be blocking it so logo is in the bottom center right did i forget it yeah they say logo position is bottom center so if we go to insert the footer it's going to be blocked by the logo so i guess what we need to do is uh, sorry so as you can see logo is appearing over here so what we'll do is we'll keep this slightly above the footer okay okay so in the footer we have to type created by followed by your name so created by Ahmad. okay and guys it's not just enough that you type it over here you also have to come to insert you have to come to header and footer and make sure you enable the footer if you do not enable the footer it will not be visible okay in normal view it will not be visible you have to enable it over here and you can say apply to all okay then the question paper goes on to say in the right section at the slide number so in the right side you have the slide number right now you can see this hashtag this hashtag is for the slide number but currently it has not been enabled so you have to come to insert you have to come to header and footer and you have to enable slide number okay so then it would be visible in normal view and then set the footer to display on all slides apart from the title slide so to do this we simply come and tick this don't show on title slide okay apply to all that's it then the question paper goes on to say <coughs> task a3b uh, lucia wants you to finish the title slide enhance the text follow the links to find out more so enhance means make it bigger make it uh, better so now we can go back into normal view now our slide master work is done now we can go back to normal view so let's click on view and let's go back to normal view okay so follow the links to find out more we have to enhance it so let's make it slightly bigger okay this should be better uh, then the question paper goes on to say insert the links as shown on the designer okay so these links we have to insert as shown on the designer so why don't we just simply put uh, okay so what we can do is uh, let's see if we can take this up slightly sorry a little more up maybe did not get any better okay so uh, let's create let's create a text box let's say text box and let's draw it like this and let's say slide 2 let's copy and paste it somewhere here Control V and let's do the third one which is slide number let's keep them all here and let's keep this somewhere over here okay so this is slide 2 this is slide 3 and this is slide four okay so uh, <coughs> uh, the links we cannot create it yet uh, what we can do is we can create blank slides let's create new slides okay so we have three slides let's create the hyperlink as well okay so this text when clicked make it a link it will go to a place in this document and it will go to slide number two this text when clicked it will go to slide number three so let's say link and let's say it has to go to slide number three and this text when clicked it will go to let's select the full text link that will go to slide number four okay so the hyperlinks have also been created okay then the question paper goes on to say lucia wants you to finish the presentation create three other slides using lucia's design information that is fit for purpose from the presentation text so let's see if we have that file presentation text yes we do have that file and uh, the next thing is relevant images from the images folder okay so you have to use relevant images from the images folder okay 
let's get started let's first ensure that we are obeying her layout so uh, if you look very carefully uh, we have to stick to her layout now since we have already created the slides we should have gone with a layout like this this two content layout will be definitely obeying will be definitely following the layout that she has told us okay uh, not a problem we can also manually do it okay so the first thing that we need to do is we need to uh, take the first piece of information which is canal narrowboats control C let's come over here and let's paste it control V let's remove the space backspace let's make it bigger size 40 and then let's get the text as well let's get this text control C and as you can see the text is on the right hand side so let's come over here insert text box where do you get a text box let's draw a text box here and uh, let's paste the points and remember it has to be in bullet form so delete enter delete enter delete enter okay okay so this must be made much bigger and then we need an image as well so canal narrow boats so what is this about available on the most major canal networks so how about maybe an image like this control C control V let's keep it like this and let's bring it over here perfect okay so then let's go on to the next slide the next slide speaks about uh, cottages so control C and uh, let's click it over here control V let's backspace control shift greater than what was the size of the text 40 so we have kept it 40 let's insert a text box okay and uh, let's go ahead and copy and paste the text uh, do not forget to keep it in bullet form so bullet form delete enter delete enter delete enter uh, what was the size of this this is 32 let's keep this also at 32 do not forget we need an image of a cottage uh, so I think ideally this would be access to a shared pool close to the beach so do you think this is suitable this is not a beach uh, this is not a cottage uh, do you think we don't see a beach anywhere here so uh, water sports available as part of the holiday so uh, uh, I think it would be best to go with something like this maybe control C control V and let's make it smaller okay perfect I just remembered something about canal narrow boats uh, I think we need to take one of these pictures isn't it <coughs> let's go with this control C let's delete this image control V let's make it smaller okay perfect and then finally in the third slide uh, we have something which goes as other countries <coughs> let's copy let's paste it it has to be size 40 let's take a text box insert text box let's draw it from here to here and uh, let's copy and paste this control C control V uh, bullet points <coughs> so delete enter delete enter let's make this size 36 32 is way too big as you can see we can keep it at 24 
uh, let's get an image for other countries uh, a suitable image for other countries a suitable image for other countries could be here how about something like uh, something like this maybe okay okay let's stick with this image okay I couldn't find a better image okay uh, then the question paper goes on to say uh, relevant images we did that link the slides using you Lucia's instructions and design okay so uh, we also need one more link if you remember link to the home slide uh, so we need this link to the home slide so we can include that as well we can draw a text box over here and we can say home slide okay and uh, sorry and we can link this text link link it where link it to the first slide okay and we can say okay and now we can simply copy and paste this control C control V and control V okay uh, then the next thing that needs to be done resave the presentation okay let's do that let's resave it and then it says uh, take a screenshot to show how you created a link from the title slide to one of the other slides paste a screenshot in document task a3 so from the title slide to one of the other slides I have to take a screenshot of that hyperlink box so let me right click here and say edit link okay and uh, let me take a screenshot of this so print screen and let me come to Microsoft Word uh, sorry let me come to task a3 print it okay paste it sorry and then the next thing the question paper tells me is take a screenshot to show how you created a link to the title slide from one of the other slides paste a screenshot okay so let's come back to our presentation which is over here let's close this let's come back here let's right click on this and say edit link okay and let's take a screenshot of this print screen and uh, come back over here and let's paste that over here okay then the question paper goes on to say resave task a3 do not print at this stage so we resave this okay we are not printing yet then it says enter your name candidate number and center number in the notes and handouts footer okay print a handouts copy of the presentation that shows two slides on each a4 sheet okay so we first have got to enter these details in the notes and handouts footer okay so let's cancel this let's come to view when you come to view uh, when you come to view uh, you can see that you have either handout master you have a notes master so you can use one of them okay so let's come to handout master and we have the footer so you can't just click over here and type it you also have to enable the footer so what you can do is you can come to insert you can come to header and footer enable the footer okay your name candidate number and center number your name candidate number and your center number okay so ensure that you have that inserted and say apply to all okay now don't forget to also do the same thing in the notes master they said notes and handout master right so let's come to the notes master as well let's come to insert header and footer and ensure it is ticked yes it's working okay so when you put it in the handout master it will automatically appear in your notes master as well can you see we are right now in notes and handouts can you see where my cursor is right now okay so when you put it in any one of those mass uh, views it will automatically appear in the other view as well okay then the question paper goes on to say print a handouts copy of the presentation that showed two slides on each A4 sheet. So now let's go back to normal view and they want us to print this so you can come to file you can come to print and right now it's just one slide on one A4 paper. They want us to put two slides on each A4 paper. So you have to come over here and you have to say two slides okay from over here two slides and then you can go ahead select your printer from over here and click on print okay then the question paper uh, asks you answer these questions on the document task a3 Lucia is going to deliver the presentation during an online session for existing members she has included speaker notes so speaker notes are these notes as you can see over here these are what you call speaker notes notes for the presenter so the person who is presenting will be able to see these notes okay when the presentation is running 
the presenter will be able to see these notes or she can even have these notes printed but her audience will not be able to see these notes okay these notes will not appear in the handout master it will only appear in the notes master let me show you if you come to notes page can you see uh, the notes appear but if you take a printout in handout say for example something like two slides or something like three slides those notes would not appear those notes are only for the presenter for the person who is delivering the presentation okay so over here they're asking you a question give one reason why lucia has used speaker notes so you can very simply say a task a3d let's press enter and task a3d so this is question number one so you can say these notes are there for Lucia to refer to when she is delivering her presentation. These notes will only be visible to her and not the audience okay so these notes will only be visible to her her audience will not be able to see it so these are basically her reference notes while she's explaining to the audience she can quickly refer to these notes okay uh, the next question goes on speaker notes and hyperlinks are features of presentation software describe how one other feature of presentation software can enhance the presentation okay so they're telling speaker notes and hyperlinks are two key feature are two key are two key features of presentation software they are asking us to describe another feature of presentation software that can help improve our presentation so you can talk about transitions you can talk about animations you can talk about uh, inserting videos okay you can talk about putting time slides okay so i'll talk about uh, simple animations okay animations can be used to get the user user's attention on a specific object in this slide okay so using animations, you can get something to turn around on the slide. You can get something to appear on the slide. You can get something to zoom in on the slide. So then you will have the user's attention 100% on that object. Okay, so if you want the user to focus on something on your slide, when you have many things on your slide, you want the user to focus on one specific object, animations is a great tool to use. Okay, in addition to animations, you have transitions, inserting images, inserting videos. Okay, you have multiple other uh, features as well. If you are comf if you if you are more confident in talking about those features you can list those features over here okay i have just used animation okay and with that we have come to the end of task a3 okay total uh, section a is also complete okay in our next video we'll be moving on to section b where we will be dealing with spreadsheets okay see you in the next video